Hello world, welcome to the 40th channel on my video where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. And today we're going to do another Shane update where we take a look at my heads up display uh, that I'm building using a Python library called Pygame. So we're going to see two new, uh, two new functions that I built. The first one is a live date and time function at the top. And the second is a live Gmail message update with voice. So, but first, let me know in the comments how you got to my channel. Was it from my Facebook where I asked you to come to this video? Was it from my Twitter bot? Was it from a search that you did on YouTube? Or was it from YouTube actually recommending this video? So either way, let me know in the comments below. All right, so let's run this program and see what we got. I made sure I've had no unread messages before I've done this, which I know to some of you may seem impossible since there are two types of people in this world. One who has hundreds and even thousands of unread messages. And then there are people like me who anytime I see a number on the icon, I freak out and can't sleep. So I continuously check it. So uh, leave a comment below also and let me know which one you are. And if you are the kind of person that has a lot of unread messages, let me know the number of messages. I'm curious to see who has the most. Um, I know I've seen a friend who had 4,000, but I know there's people who have plenty more, especially those who have subscriptions and spam and just let that um, number keep growing. So let me know how many you have and let's see who has the most. So, okay, so here we go. We're going to run this. I'm going to exit out of my webcam so you can see it. All right, so here is the date and time. It's in the 2400 format because I'm in the military, so I like to see it like that. And then hopefully throughout the recording, you'll see that update um, the time as we are recording. So now I'm going to go into my Gmail on my iPhone. And I'm going to mark one of these messages unread. And I'm going to stop talking so when Shane comes on and tells us we have an unread message, uh, we can hear that. You have one unread messages. All right. So you can see to this lower right, it says you have one unread messages. All right. And let's see what happens when I mark this as read. All right. And it went away. So live messages. So if you saw this uh, battery power going down as we're recording, that's in the first video. So that's pretty much it for now. Pretty, uh, I'm pretty excited about this. If uh, We're not going to go all the way through the code. So if you want to see the setup of PyCame and how I got here, you can check out the first video. The link is in the description. And in that, we checked out the power status. We can update that. This is live also. And then right here, this um, it says heart rate, but that'll be any external device. So if I have a Arduino controlled Nerf gun, this will say Nerf gun up here or something like that. Heart rate, drone, whatever. So there we go. So that's the exit out of this. All right, and we're going to go to... So there's another one I didn't explain here because it's kind of just code stuff. And that is getting the width and the height of the screen. So whatever screen I, I'm on, I want to get the width and the height, and I want my code to automatically adjust for it. So right now we're running on my laptop, but in the future I might run from a touch screen, small screen on a, a Raspberry Pi, or I might be running Shane from a wearable device somehow, um, connected to a helmet or something of that nature, or on something large, like a larger screen. And no matter what, I want it to update automatically versus hard-coded. So that's what this is. In Python, um, you have to do this from Windows, Win32 API import get system metrics. 
and then the zero width item in that get system metrics is the width the resolution width the first is the height all right and then we just return those the second one is getting the date and time information so to do that you have to import time and import date time now this is um, super basic so this is beginner Python code right here so I just created a function get time and then we're going to do that I'll pause for a little bit to see if that's a code that you would like to implement but again this is very basic Python code learning date time so then we return the current date and current time same thing we're going to return this width and height that way when we go into our GUI right here and we set up this width and height we're going to get the integer of the width and height and I want it to be 80% so whatever my resolution and um, width and height I want it to be 80% of that so let's run that again and see it is, I'm sure if I centered this you know it's somehow 80% of that and so now no matter what type my resolution is it will automatically adjust to that so I don't have to hard code it and everywhere here we adjust it for screen width and height so the next again watch my first video if you want to check this out so when you heard Shane speak you have to keep track of that because what this does is it keeps running while true so Shane will keep yelling at you that you have an unread message so um, this is how you print out the date and time again check out the first code if you want to ex the first video of my pie game if you want to see how this works and then we're going to do the unread messages we're going to check email so that's what uh, if you remember from my Gmail video which that link will be in the description um, right here return you have how many message unread messages so go there we're going to call that unread messages equals that so if I had two it would say you have two unread messages all right so if the unread messages equals you have no new messages then we're just going to pass we're going to script pass right all over this and go back to the top and keep running it but if we have if it's not this no new messages so else we're going to draw the gmail icon and then we're going to put the text for the gmail messages and then the notification count that i just talked about up here right here is zero so if that is less than one so zero which it is right now Shane is going to speak and say you have however many unread messages then we're going to increment the notification count by one so now the notification count is one and this no longer applies so we else and we pass and then that's it so that is the current status of my Pi game. I was hoping, if you see here, a lot of Pi game camera commented out. So I was hoping to have uh, the camera figured out so we can see either looking at me, which in my last video I explained is impractical. So in the movies with Robert Downey Jr., you know, this always inward facing, it's impractical, it would probably be outward facing and uh, you'd have this pie game overlaid on it but I could not figure out how to work the camera with the windows and pie game but I'm still trying hope to have that in the next Shane update so every about 10 videos I plan on doing a full Shane update so I hope you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to watch my progress I have some great stuff coming up to include a meme checker where I can read images and I'm going to be setting up my Raspberry Pi with a touchscreen I just bought. So please subscribe. Remember to like this video and hit the notification bell icon. Thanks. Goodbye, world.